troopers. And Mike, this just has to be so tough on everyone. Jen and Catherine, I mean, it's absolutely heartbreaking for the people in this community, for these neighbors who heard the screams and the chaos unfolding. This morning, there are still several unanswered questions, but we do know a little boy was stabbed to death. Eventually, his name will come out. This community is clearly grief stricken. All this new information coming out from Trooper Long here at Pennsylvania State Police Barracks in Newcastle. But I have to splash the suspect's picture on your TV right now. Take a good look and draw your eyes right here. This again is the suspect considered armed and dangerous. His name is Keith Burley and he is 43 years old. As we mentioned, he is wanted for stabbing his girlfriend's child to death and he has a history of violence. Police are stressing this morning, do not approach him. Now, Channel 11 has been all over this story since it first broke overnight. We have multiple crews, and I want to take this live picture from our photographer, Mike Pashotti, who is out there on scene, still gathering details. State police confirmed to us around 10.30 last night, the city of Newcastle police got reports of a domestic happening near their fire station. It involved Burley and his girlfriend, all while her children were there. The domestic continued. She somehow got out of the car. That's when police say Burley drove away with her two children to her home along High Street. Police say that's where he allegedly stabbed one of the boys to death. The other child was not harmed. Burley, get this, this is also new information just coming out. Burley just got released in March. He was on parole for another homicide in which he was convicted of. Out here live this morning. A little after 6 o'clock this morning. New details continue to develop. We're going to continue to share his photo. Police are stressing. If you saw this play out, if you have any information, if you know where Burley is this morning, do not approach him. Call police immediately. We're going to make constant checks with state police, and we'll have the latest live updates for you all morning long. Reporting live from state police barracks in Newcastle, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News. Don't worry, Mike. We're going to put his picture up again because we need to find this guy.